Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Mackenzie Davis. We want to get back to that migration story. The state of Kansas is experiencing a statewide drought. The Cheyenne Bottoms near Wichita completely dried up. But how is it affecting the wildlife near us? 27 News reporter Lily O'Shea Becker is live at the National Weather Service. So Lily, can you tell us more about how the drought is impacting our area? Yeah, Mackenzie, I spoke with our very own meteorologist, Matt Miller, who said rain over the last three weeks has helped improve our drought conditions in our area only slightly, although winter is a relatively dry season and we shouldn't expect any drastic improvements. Prairie Wildlife Area Manager Andrew Page explains what it can mean if conditions don't improve. As we progress into the spring, if we stay incredibly dry, uh, it could really have a negative impact on those birds' migration back north. Uh, where they're they're fueling up and, and getting back north where that's to their breeding grounds that's where they reproduce uh, and, and create you know the the population for the next seasons the birds migrate from Canada to as far south as Mexico and South America and Kansas is a midway rest and fueling stop while pumping water into the Perry Wildlife Area hasn't been an issue, it has been an issue for other areas of Kansas, and water levels are still low for the Perry Wildlife Areas. Page says migration has remained relatively normal in the area, but it is hard to say what will happen in the spring. Page did say there are some positive aspects to droughts. This drought has allowed the Kansas Wildlife Department to go into wetlands that aren't as accessible when they're full and do repairs and even remove some invasive species. Live working for you at the National Weather, Weather Service Station, I'm Lily O'Shea Becker, 27 News. Thank you, Lily, for that. That's really some great information there. It was